Okay you guys, so today I'm going to make a quick video about my recent trip to New York. I was there last week for pretty much like a day and a half. Uh, I went there on the Friday the 21st and I was throwing a party the next day. And um, yeah, when I got there it was extremely cold. Uh, luckily, like I wore a sweater and this jacket. But um, it was very cold, um, it was raining, it was snowing. Um, my friend told me that it wasn't going to be like that, but clearly they lied to me. I got there, um, checked into the hotel and stuff, and that first night I met up with these two people that I've literally known for five, four years. Um, we used to do tiny chats together, so if you followed me, you know, Three or something years ago, like we used to do tiny chats and we would stay up all night like, talking on tiny chat, just talking shit. And um, two of the people in there were Kat and Michael, and I met up with Kat and Michael the first night. It was really cool, like to see that. And you know, that's what I love about social media so much that it gives you like a platform to meet people from all over the world. So when you do travel, you have acquaintances or friends in different, you know, parts of the world that you meet up with when, you know, you might be on your own on like a business trip or just or anything. And the first night I go out to eat with them. Um, we go to this restaurant that my other friend Jason suggested. It was, uh, it was called Delicatessen and it was like, it was nice, it was cool. Um, so yeah, we went out to eat and then we just hung out after. And then the next day was the party. And so the party was late at night on Saturday. So all day Saturday, you know, I woke up like, you know, early for my standards, which was like nine o'clock and you know, you know, get ready, take a shower. Michael meets me back at the hotel and then we go and we start going sightseeing and stuff. So, you know, we go to all the typical touristy things, you know, like Times Square, and what was there to see? And then we went to the M&M thing, the M&M store. We went to, um, why am I only thinking about M&M's? What's the M&M store? Oh, Toys R Us store. Toys R Us store is huge. It had like that big carousel and it was cute. And they had this like really big Rice Krispie bar. I should have bought it, but I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah, so we basically just went around all those little shops in Times Square. If you've ever been there before, you know that it's just a bunch of like touristy type stuff, whatever. And you know, you see all the little stuff that you see when you know you, you're on TV and stuff, like people dancing with the with the um, bikinis on the guitars, like all the little people dressed up in their costumes and stuff. Like I really. Um, like, yeah, that's, <clears throat> it's really real out there. What everybody says about it is just the most annoying part of New York. So, at least I got to see it. I really wanted to see that. And then after that, we went to this Swedish, um, candy store called Sokebit, which was, um, which means sugar cube in Swedish. And we went there and we got some candy. And that was so much fun because you guys know how much I love Swedish candy. So, yeah, we went and we got some Swedish candy. And then after we did that, we went to the World Trade Center, like the memorial, and we saw, you know, the new building and stuff. And um, that was really beautiful as well. And after that, we went to Central Park and we walked around a little bit. And, um,. That was cool, like, you know, you know how when you see certain things in movies and you're just like, you know, I wonder what it's gonna be like, you know, when we go to those same places and, you know, that they do in the movies and stuff, and you know, I don't know, like, I can't say that, I don't know, like, I felt, I don't know. It was cool, though, just to be, like, where, you know, a lot of movies are shot at or shows and stuff. After that, we went out to eat because it was getting kind of late because the party was about to start, so we went out to eat. And um, at first we went to this Italian restaurant and we met this uh, Swedish guy, this drunk Swedish guy who was there. And he was just telling one of the guys I was with that, you know, he was a hipster or something. And then he was like, oh no, he was like, oh, in Sweden, you know, you'd consider a hipster because he had on like a leather jacket or something. And I was like, oh, in Sweden. So I said to him in Swedish, I was like, oh, so do a sound. And then he was just like, um, I mean, so are you Swedish? And he was like, oh my God, yeah. And he was like drunk as hell and it was just, um, I don't know, I just think it's cool when you run into people who, you know, speak Swedish or speak the same language that you do when you're out or from the same country, especially Sweden for me because I feel like there aren't a lot of Swedes here. Yeah, so after that, 
we went and we went to the party and the party was fun. It was a lot of people that were there. Um, I didn't really talk to a lot of people. Uh, I just talked to the people that I was with for the most part because um, it was really hectic and it was really hot and there was a lot going on, you know, and it was dark and it was just like, okay, um, I'm just gonna chill. So I met up with Louis, uh, Louis TV, if any of you guys know him. I met up with Louis and he's so much fun to talk to. He was really drunk, but he's beautiful. He's such a beautiful person. Like he looks like a freaking doll in person. Like I felt ugly standing next to him. I was like, this guy is prettier than me. Like really nigga? Yeah, I met up with um, you know, a lot of guys and a lot of girls and just a lot of people that I never thought I would actually get to meet in person, but I did, and they were all really cool. Everybody was cool. Everybody acts the exact same that they do online and stuff, but um, I overall had a really good time in New York. I definitely wanna come back like um, in the summer when it's hotter, because I wanna do more, I wanna be out more, and I wanna see more stuff, because I'm the type of person that loves to go sightseeing, and I like to do the corny, like, touristy stuff, and see historical monuments and stuff, because I feel like that's very important. Like, I like to see and I like to learn about the city that I'm in, especially if it's New York. Like, I want to go to Ellis Island. I want to I want to do a lot of stuff like that. No, overall, New York was cool. I had a good time. I want to come back. And I will come back. And the people were great. Um, I brought one of them back with me to Atlanta because they were just so great that I couldn't move them with, like, in New York. Like, they had to come with me. And... We're living happily ever after here. Um, I decided to hold them hostage, so they can't leave anymore, but um, other than that, I think I'm pretty happy. But um, no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, I had a really good time in New York, and when I come back, I'm gonna have a huge party, and everybody's gonna be invited again, and you guys are all gonna come, and we're gonna have a great time together. But yeah, I'm gonna be back with an Ask Kim video really soon, so sorry for the wait. I apologize, I really do. But I love you guys and I appreciate you guys for being so patient with me. And I will talk to you guys soon.